Okay. Okay. This is really simple stuff. You've already told me some of it. Okay. Okay. So, um, what are you doing here? Okay. So, um, we're here. Um, what, me personally, or you personally? Okay. I'm working here for one year. To um, I'm the biologist at the field station. Okay. So I am going to be taking care of all the biological side of the work that's done here, all the data and the hands-on data gathering. Um, and then what happens to that data afterwards, sending it off. Okay. And then the OSA in project, like what do they do? Uh, so the OSA project works um, sort of in four different areas. Uh, they work um, in water, actually capturing the turtles, taking the data from the turtles so that we can monitor the population that's found out in the Gulf here. Um, we're also doing work with the mangroves. So we're working on a reforestation program where we are taking the seeds from the field, growing those, and then um, planting the, the young trees back into the mangrove forests. Uh, we also do work with the seagrass, which is a critical habitat and um, a food source for the green turtles specifically. So we're doing transects to try and find out a little bit more about what's going on with the seagrass here, the species in abundance, and whether it's getting better or getting worse. And then the fourth and final area is the rescue centre. Um, so the rescue centre is where we are rehabilitating turtles. Um, so we've got Pina in there at the moment, and um, he's been there for about three months. And we also have other turtles in, it might just be for one day to get rid of parasites, or it might be a bit longer if the problem's a bit more serious. And um, as for like personal reasons, which one is like the most rewarding out of those four mm. for you? I mean, it's all hard work, but which one would you like most enjoy, I guess, is the best way to put it? I don't know. They're all very different, and they're all really vital. So it's fantastic when you're out in the water and you capture a turtle, and you can actually... There's not many animals of that size that are either endangered or critically endangered, and you can actually handle and get that close to um, and actually work with in the way that you can work with turtles. So mm -hmm. it's absolutely fantastic to be able to do that with the turtles out in the Gulf. Um, and it's really vital that we get that data because yeah. you know, that part of the life cycle is really not that much yeah. known about it. So to be able to be part of gathering that data is, yeah. is amazing. Um, but also, for example, the, the rescue centre, like every time that we get an individual in there and we're able to help them and then you're able to yeah. release them knowing that they're in a better state than they were even just 24 hours yeah. before is for an amazing sure. feeling too. And then you talked about the Gulf and it's, uh, I've been told it's a tropical fjord. Mm -hmm. Why is that like an important thing? Is it good for turtles, bad for turtles? Like, um, It's good because it's got like low currents and things like that. So it means that the, the seagrass is able to, to grow there because it's quite, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's not a lot of turbulence in mm -hmm. the water. Um, <clears throat> it also means that you get like a lot of like blooms of, of good algae. I mean, I know we've seen the red We have algae. red tide, but... Yeah, but it also, because of the lack of turbulence, it means that you're able to get blooms of good green algae that the, the greens they eat. eat. Um, and just lots of different species live out there as well. They come through because it's feeding ground and then they pass yeah. back out whilst they're migrating north or okay. south. And what's, um, like I would say, top three dangers to turtles now? Um, so we've got um, the fishing. Fishing's a really big problem. Um, getting caught in illegal fishing gear or um, just by caught in even regular standard gear. Ghost fishing is an awful problem as well. Everything to do with the fishing industry, it's, it could be sustainable, but the demand for the fish is so high that it's not sustainable. Mm -hmm. It's not sustainable for the fisheries, nor for the turtles or for marine mammals. Um, another big problem, we've seen the, the red tides today, so things like um, pollution, eutrophication, um, surface runoff from farms and things like that is a big problem. Just the way that we're treating the ocean, thinking that it's an endless resource that we can just pump all sorts of chemicals into. Mm -hmm. And um, the more we disturb the balance in there, the more it becomes difficult for mm -hmm. different species to bounce back. And then thirdly, global warming, I guess. Global mm -hmm. warming is a big problem, so it's affecting um, everything from the balance in the, the different trophic levels, so affecting the abundance in different species of algae, 
which then has its effect at the trophic level and as different things prey on different things, it disrupts that balance. Um, also because of the fact that the the nests, um, the hatchlings are, their sex is dependent on the, the temperature at which mm -hmm. the nest is incubated. So we saw today we caught two greens and in the data if we look back there's a lot of and um, females being caught because of the high temperatures. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's very hard to prove because it's very difficult to um, get the data from the hatchlings that right. are coming out because it's not gene dependent; it's heat dependent. So, we can only really see after a lot of time, but already right. we seem to be catching a lot of females. So. Right. And I know you've only been here for two and a half weeks, but mm -hmm. do you have like a favorite moment or like a favorite memory? Yeah, it's only been two weeks. It's all great. It's really yeah. great. Like every time that we like go out on the boat or it's the fantastic. People. Yeah, people, all the volunteers are really great. I mean we haven't had a bad volunteer touch word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not <that one. laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. So I mean it's it's all really, really good. So cool. yeah, loving it. Ta da